right, welcome back to Solve It, The Case of the Missing Cornerstone, Part 2. Um, yeah, some of you very keen-eyed viewers might notice something different about my situation here. And I'll give you a second to think about it. But that is that my item bar does look different. The no most noticeably, the, I think the most notable change here is the fact that I now have an iron sword and there is a reason for this. So this is actually my third attempt filming this video because the first one got corrupted. So I have actually played through the entire map. Um, I know it happens. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to play it through. Just walking you guys through the rest of it, trying to to give you your entertainment value that you deserve. Um, the second time, my computer actually ran out of disk space to hold the recording, so it stopped midway through. So this is the third time I've recorded this video. And so, yeah, on the bright side, bright and not so bright side, I since I know what happens, there won't be any beats missed here. Um, it'll just be straight through. Also, I don't mind replaying this for this video because in the first video that I had filmed, I actually had figured, I accidentally skipped ahead in the map, um, which made me get really confused. And so I had to like pause a lot because I had to, I kept checking to see if I was in the right spot again yet or if I had missed something and I missed things like three times because I had accidentally skipped ahead in the map so yeah without further ado let's get back to the case of the missing cornerstone we just discovered that at least we have our suspicions that Luke Traden is the traitor so yeah so I just went out to the wheat shed I already gathered the milk for the cake because I since I played this before I was smart and when I replayed back through it to get back to this point I just gathered the milk while I sheared the sheep because I knew I was gonna need the milk for later and there's nothing preventing me from getting getting my milk right now so we're gonna go back to farmer Andy um, we're gonna get the sugar tell him that his wheat shed has been ransacked and then we're gonna go make a cake I want cake. Cake sounds really good right now, actually. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. I got your stuff. Oh, gosh. I can't hit the right button to pull up my chat. I get so confused. Farmer Andy, I got the wheat, but when I went in your shed, it looks to have been ransacked. Ransacked? But how? Did you find anything in there? Just some to-do list and a torn piece of what looks like a journal. Well, I don't know. I... Here. Here's the sugar you need. Uh, could you hold on to those items you found for me? Whoever left them there would not think to look for them with you. I need to go sort out that shed. I will bring this up with the mayor as soon as I can. Bye. You think to yourself, I better get back to the bakery. So, that's pretty straightforward. Let's go back to the bakery. Doot, 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 doot. That's not the bakery. Is this the bakery? This is the bakery. Okay. I got the ingredients. Good, here's the egg you need. Since you got the ingredients, we will let you make it yourself free of charge. Just put the ingredients on that table over there like the recipe says and you can have your cake. Just let me squeeze past you. Okay. I have done this, I had to look at the recipe whenever I did this, but I think I remember how to make a cake now because I've done it three times. I got a cake, okay. Oh, there goes the buckets. I better save this cake for later. Now to go check out the train, because remember, we found out that the train has been sabotaged. Also, I remember in the last video, I mentioned is like, why didn't they like publish the book? Cause I know there's a way to like make it so that you like, it's not editable. And it's, I don't know how I didn't see this, but it's literally just this, plop. Enter book title to my caps lock on Oop. to do sign and close. Ta-da. And now I can't edit it. It's just a book. Crazy, huh? 
and I just stole the freaking... <laughs> it says that the book was by me now, not the creator of this map. How'd you like that? I stole your to-do list. It's mine now. Bwahaha. All joking aside, plagiarism isn't funny. You shouldn't do it, guys. Um, oh wait, no, I don't think I need to talk to you. I don't think it's in there. Where was it? Aha, okay. Over here. Train. I think it's funny that, like, I think this lever was here just for cosmetics, but, like, somehow it's close enough to the door that it opens the door. But there's a button that's supposed to open the door, too. Anyway, uh, chest, stone pickaxe, stone shovel. Don't think I need those. Reminder, remove all items from coal burner. Aha! Metal fragments, broken axle, all thrown into the coal burner. It must be sabotage. I wonder if that journal entry has anything to do with this. Maybe I should check that entry again. Okay. Dupe, boop, torn piece of journal, pow. I'm not gonna sign this because for it to retain its name, I have to name it the same thing when I press sign and I don't feel like doing that. Okay. After traveling for weeks, finally, we all have settled on location for a new town. It took a lot of convincing for some. But this looks like a good place to start anew. First things first is to get home set up for all and a schoolhouse. As they say, knowledge is the key. Wink, wink. Because why else would that, why else would that be in caps? Um, okay. We're going back to the schoolhouse, by the way, because the books mention the schoolhouse and they say knowledge is key. So, uh since i don't have anything else to check out then it's checking out the schoolhouse this is appleton excuse me hi i'm from the train and i was just exploring the town and wanted to learn a little bit more about it um ah you must be the museum person well you have come to the right place i am jane appleton the school teacher i'm sure i can dig up a copy of the town history book but i could use some help what do you need I need a sack of paper from the general store. If you could pick up some for me, I would be very appreciative. Consider it done. What just... Note, Miss Patton. Oh. Is that the storekeeper? Wait. That's the wrong way. This way. Matt the baker. Hmm. Yo. Welcome to the general store. Everything is one gold. I don't really need to buy anything. Excuse me here. I'm here to pick up some paper for Miss Appleton. Oh, sure. Not a problem. Here you go. Yeah. Now that I, I realize last time that I came through the map, like first time playing it through, I didn't ever actually like buy anything from anywhere. Hmm. This is interesting. I don't know why you'd need to buy any of this, but. Okay. Um, paper. Schoolhouse. Go. Bada bing, bada boom. Hello there. Okay. I got the paper. Excellent. Just put it in that chest over there. I found an old storage chest with the book and some other stuff. Feel free to take a look. Sweet. Flop. Torn piece of journal. Two history of our town i'm going to like organize the torn pieces of journal on the top because spoiler alert um she didn't even take her paper i'm just gonna oh wait no she said put the paper in the chest and she there we go school supplies okay um yeah spoiler alert there's gonna be more of these oh i mix these up so yep torn piece of journal those are our our clues um oh i should probably read this torn piece of journal the houses are coming along quite well at the rate we are going we should be ready for winter in no time birchton still is grumbling about settling here but everyone else seems all right hmm i just don't understand anyhow pat and our temporary convenience store owner is drawing up plans for the town hopefully everyone can agree on the placement of everything okay so the, i will say the first time i filmed this it took me longer than it should have to figure this out but the torn pieces of journals your next clues are just like whatever 
like building was mentioned in the torn piece of journal is just who you gotta go talk to next. So it's actually pretty linear and I don't know how I missed that. Hello again, Miss Patton. I have a quick question. What do you need? I figured since I am staying in town until the train is fixed, I'd learn a little bit about the town. That's wonderful, dear. You know I have some old stuff from the original town here in the general store. Would you like to see them? Yes, please. Here's the chest of stuff. Feel free to look, hold on to the stuff as long as you are here. I love that it calls it stuff. Just stuff. Old town plans and torn piece of journal three. I also learned that it's probably best to not right click the map because there's nothing on it to look at already. So then you'll just fill in the map. It doesn't matter, but it does take away the name Old Town Plans, which is sad for the flavor. Okay, journal three. The town is starting to take shape. We have a school, general store, and homes for all. Birchton is still causing trouble. Every day he heads off into the woods and returns more angry than when he left. I am starting to think he is up to something. I think I'll go chop up some more wood. The lumberjacks is almost complete. Maybe I can casually check up on Birchton while I am out. Clarence Spruton. Or is it Clarence because there's a U in it? I don't know. Okay. Is that the lumberjack right there? Oh, that's easy. <gasps> dun 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 guys it's him it's him if he's if he's snobby to me then it's like definitely him because i feel like that's very classic like mystery villain is like oh the one town person that's snobby to you yeah i'm the bad guy excuse me hi i am i know who you are you are from the train. Let's be honest. This is a small town. Newcomers stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, anyway, since I'm here until the train is fixed, I thought I'd learn a bit about the town. Do you have... You were wondering if I had anything? Well, I do. Currently fixing up their home. Oh, wait, no. I skipped a line. Well, I do, but I don't have time to go get it since my apprentices are currently fixing up their homes and the rest of the town after that storm. Unless if you could process some wood... For me outside, I'd gladly go get the stuff. I might even let you hang on to it for a bit. Just grab an axe from the chest over there and process me 64 planks. Should be about 16 logs. We got a deal? Okay. Yeah, if I were if I were me, oh wait, I am me, then I would be really uneasy too. If I were this guy, I'd be just as uneasy. Okay, fun fact. First time I filmed this, I sat here for like probably almost five minutes trying to figure out how to get the next story thing to tr like trigger and i totally missed this little thingy here that told me to deposit the plank so i like got the planks went back inside and it wasn't working and that's very confused i'm not the most observant person ever like at all if you haven't figured that out by now yeah i was trying all sorts of stuff like i i processed the planks like the logs to planks in my personal inventory is like well maybe the game like tracks it and like you have to use the crafting table over here because so i kept like going trying to take it back to this guy and it wasn't working and i came back out and i was like oh yeah i'm a dingus plop ta-da okay i'm back if you're done come on in uh bruh you never left i know you didn't thanks for the help now here's your reward this here is an old axe that belonged to clarence spruton the founder of our town you are welcome to hold onto it so long as i have it back before you leave but they have nothing like it at that museum of yours Thank you. Say, does this axe happen to have a story with it? Well, yes. If you look underneath that desk over there, I have a chest with some old papers. Feel free to take a look. Just remember I want everything back before you leave. Hmm, suspicious. He's the only one that actually wants his stuff back. Also, it also took me a while to figure out where the heck this chest was. It's pretty hidden. Torn piece of journal number four. I'm keeping this axe. He doesn't need it back. Finally, the town is nearing completion. 
to think just mere months ago we left home to start anew out here. However, I fear I may have chosen an area that is not as quiet as it seems. I continue to keep an eye on Birchton ever since I caught him hiding supplies out in the woods and digging his own tunnels. I have become concerned that he's hiding something. But when I went to his tunnel, there was nothing. Something is not right here. If he is digging, he is going to need a lot of tools. Better keep an eye on the blacksmith shop to make sure nothing goes missing. Well, as I said before, ah, it's nighttime. Let me out, dang it. I need to go sleep. They don't like send the iron golems after me if I'm out after dark, right? <laughs> That'd be scary. Okay been a long day of detectiving so now I gotta sleep morning I feel rejuvenated time to go do some more detectiving okay so the thing referred to the blacksmith shop so the blacksmith shop is where I go the blacksmith Hello again, I don't know if you heard, but while I'm here, I thought I'd get some information about the town's history to take back to the museum I work for. Ah uh, yes, well I do have some stuff stored away from my great 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 grandfather. If you help me fill out these last five orders, I can go get the stuff. Okay, not a problem. So the orders are in the order bin over there, and here are the supplies. Just put the tools in that bin by the furnaces and the order forms back in the chest. Okay. So let's see. Iron pickaxe, iron axe. Okay. Um. Oh, I already have stuff smelted from before. So we'll do the stone stuff first. So we need a stone axe, stone shovel, stone sword. What if I do this big brain way? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> wow. And then stone sword. Oh, oopsies. Okay, I got that right, right? Stone axe, stone shovel, stone sword. <clears throat> okay. Into the bin you go. And I just realized that if I take in the... I saw a tool somewhere. There was a tool chest. And I was like, I don't need them, but I had a stone shovel and a stone axe, I think. If I had just taken those from that chest, I could have just turned them in for this order. Ah, uh, missed an opportunity to make things easier. Iron pickaxe, iron axe. Okay, and we'll do this the big brain way too. Iron pickaxe, actually I can't because, yeah. As if, I, no, no, stop, there we go. Okay. You ready for this? This this startled me so bad the first time. Oh! I've been shot! <laughs> yeah, last time I like turned in the last tool and saw the blackness seeping in and I was like, like what is happening? I was terrified. Where am I? You are in the doctor's office. I am Dr. Samson Appleton. That was some hit you took there. Um, what exactly happened? All I remember was making these tools for the blacksmith and then an arrow. You were hit by an arrow. Wow, thanks. Yeah, okay. The blacksmith brought you here. There was a note attached to the arrow. Here. Well, you are free to go. The blacksmith wants to see you as well as the mayor. Take care. You ready to see what the note says? Stop or pay the price. Can... I can't... Oh, that's the door. I was like, he's in front of the door. I can't leave if you're in front of the door. I don't have enough, like, item slots. I'm going to have to ditch some stuff at a chest. And hopefully I remember what I need correctly so then I don't ditch the thing that I actually need. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, Mary, you wanted to see me? I said, Mayor, you wanted to see me, right? Oh, the blacksmith wants to see you as well as the mayor. So I have to go talk to the blacksmith first. Oh yeah, I need my stuff. How could I forget? I need my stuff, bruh. Yeah, my stuff. 
Well, I'm glad to see you're all right. Well, I'm, uh, thanks. Did you happen to see who hit me? Unfortunately, no, but I did get the stuff I wanted to show you, if you still want it. Well, yeah. Yes, please. All right, here's the anvil of my great-great-great-grandfather. You can hang on to it until you leave. If you haven't seen the mayor, yeah, I would go talk to him. Just the anvil? No, journal. Rude. Okay. Doot, 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 doot. Mayor, you wanted to see me? Hello there, how are you? Uh, I'm feeling better, thank you. I am very sorry for what happened. I am looking into it as we speak. You saw the note then? Yes, but unfortunately I cannot seem to figure out whose writing it was. That's why I think they probably did the weird thing with the caps. They tried to make it so it was like the the cutout magazine letters so that the handwriting couldn't be traced. Ah oh, well, my little museum thing is going well. I keep finding these journals written by Clarence Spruton. The Clarence Spruton and Birchton. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, they were friends, but Birchton sort of, well, there's a reason the town is named Spruton. If you go into that room over there, in the chest is a journal. Well, it'll explain some things. I gotta go. It'll explain some things. What is that supposed to mean? Torn piece of journal six. Okay. Also, I don't like this room. Like after like an ominous like, it'll explain some things. And it's like a small tiny baby room with an iron door. Like, I don't know. I just don't like that room. Okay. Journal six. Well, Birchton is in jail. I caught him stealing tools from the blacksmith and discovered what he's up to. Apparently he was. And you don't get to know. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm gonna ditch some stuff at one of these chests. What do I not need? Don't need that note anymore. Um, probably don't need my snowballs. I don't think I need cobblestone. Don't need my buckets. I don't need any of the broken stuff. <laughs> to do by night canine. Yes, I wrote this to-do list. I am the traitor. Haha, <laughs> I sabotaged my own train. Never saw that coming, now did ya? Okay, um... It's in, he's in jail. Okay, that's right. This is one of the things that I missed. So at this point, I had actually figured out how to go down into the mines. Um, so going down into the mines is part of the map, but as you can see, like there's, if you see that tiny little outline, there's a block barring you from doing that. But I discovered if you lay down, I didn't bother because you don't actually have to, but if you lay down the rails and go on a minecart, you actually just ride right through the barrier block. You take a tiny bit of health, but you just ride right through the barrier block. And that's why I was confused because there's a puzzle at the end where you need a whole bunch of this detective stuff that you're gathering and I didn't have all of it so I was very confused <clears throat> do 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 so if you miss what happened here you're supposed to go to the jail you see that it's not opening you see that the sheriff is also the mayor so then you have to go back to talk to the mayor and be like bruh you got a key to the jail <laughs> Yes, here. Just don't let anyone see you. Dun 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 Just very casually. Just very casually. There's the door. Walk. Hey, yo. Bruh. Let me in. Okay. I'm in. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Jail cell key. Plop. There's nothing under here, is there? I don't think so. Dun, 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 hey, this is like my hotel room. Shower, little washroom. Button, chest, my key. Torn piece of journal, Birchton's shovel. Torn piece of journal, seven. I keep putting it up there and then forgetting that I need to have it in my hotbar to read it. I can't believe Spruton would rat me out like that. Thankfully, he never figured out how to get into my mine shaft. I may never get out of here, but he will suffer. My ancestors will find the clues. They will get my treasure. <gasps> he left a treasure. 
and he will have to live with the knowledge that he threw his own brother-in-law. <gasps> They're legally related. <sighs> to think the key to my treasure is in the hand of everyone else's treasures. Luckily, I had that barn built to hide at least one other piece to my puzzle. Someone's coming. I don't know why you'd write that down. I could see if, if, if it was like like a recording like a voice recording thing but like i feel like if you were keeping a journal and like a guard was coming and you wanted to keep the journal a secret you wouldn't write oh someone's coming <laughs> and then like close it button okay torn pizza journal seven i kind of missed where i need to go oh yeah the barn back to the barn so, if you remember in the first video, when I was exploring around the barn, at least I think it was in the first video, I think, I can't remember. I think in the first video, I had a little clip of me uh, wandering around the barn and there's this little corner over by the hay upstairs with this little feather in it. And you just go up to the little feather with the key in your hand. It doesn't have to be in your hand, but it unlocks a thing. And now I have a plastic egg. Don't confuse this with the normal eggs. And torn piece of journal number eight. It's sad to come out to the barn. I keep thinking of Birchton. My sister understands why I had to do it, but still, the inn has opened up. It will be successful. I just know it, especially with the good food the husbands make. Okay, and in the same line of thinking as everything else in this map has been so far, it's off to the inn. The place where I sleep at night. Do, 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 do. We're gonna solve a mystery and we're gonna do it so easily. Yeah, mm, do, 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 do. You like my soundtrack? Oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> that was very like, I know exactly where I'm going. It probably would have taken me a little while to figure out exactly where I needed to go. But yeah, this is the little kitchen thing. And once you need to go to the end, you actually get access to it. Cool. Hello there, I'm Mr. Tomlinson. My wife told me about you. I also say... Well, now that L's before the M. Is that Tomlinson? I don't know, man. My wife told me about you. You are looking, you are look for artifacts to write about your museum. Well, yes. Well, I'll let you take a look at the stuff we had if you help me. My wife wants to bring some food to our neighbors. If you help me make it, I can get the items for you. Sure, what do I need to make? I need five cooked chicken, one beetroot stew, one mushroom stew, five cookies, and a pumpkin pie. Just put them in the chest over there when you are done. Also, since you don't need to eat in this game, I realized something after playing the map the first time through, and that at the beginning of the map, you get five cookies. You can just use your cookies as part of this task. Pro tip. Okay, five cooked chicken. So we are going, I think the cooked chicken was in the fridge. So we are going to just let that cook while we do some other stuff. Beetroot stew. We're gonna need some bowls. I need some beetroots, gonna need some... I don't need these eggs, those are the normal eggs. I don't need the J.O. key anymore. Uh, beetroot, we need both kinds of mushrooms. Also, when I played this, I had to look up the recipes for all this stuff because I don't remember this at all. But I'm pretty sure, yep, that's the beetroot stew. And then the mushroom stew is that and that. Makes no sense to me, man, but uh, it's okay. It's it's good. Wait, no What the heck I Like tried to put it in the furnace and it just dis oh wait. No, I put it in my hot bar I'm a dingus. Okay. There's the beetroot stew mushroom stew I'm gonna put these mushrooms and stuff back because I don't need them no, I don't want to trade with you. I'm trying to get to that chest, boy. Move. Okay, and... 
So there's that. Five cooked chicken. We'll just put all that in there. So check, 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 and a pumpkin pie. I don't know if I remember how to make a pumpkin pie. I know it used pumpkin and sugar. And I feel like it was something else. Hmm. Hmm. Crap. Was it an egg? Pumpkin, sugar, egg. Aha! I am big brain. I'm going to put the egg, sugar, and the pumpkins back in the fridge, because that makes sense. And pumpkin pie. Check. All done then? Well, if you look behind that grate above the ovens, you will see a chest with some cool stuff. Uh, pow. That scared me. I forgot that happened. Okay. Grand opening banner and torn piece of journal. Nine. What in the world was that? My thoughts exactly, man. Sounds like an explosion from the mine, but they don't use TNT to mine. Better go check it out and make sure everyone is all right. So that's the point that you're supposed to go into the mine. So I missed like two or three whole steps when I played this the first time. So it was very confusing. Okay, um, one year has come and gone since we have arrived and still I've not been able to uncover what Birchton was hiding. I gathered it had something to do with the items he gave to each family, but there are still some missing. I have decided to leave this a mystery. Some things may be better left unknown. However, there's one thing Birchton said that bothers me. The arrow could lead the way. Will we lead the way? What could this mean? Spoiler, the arrow leading the way definitely has nothing to do with a puzzle that I'm about to do. That also, you don't... I'll just go to sleep, whatever. Also, you really don't, it's a really straightforward puzzle. Like, you really don't need that clue to be able to solve the puzzle. But, yeah. Ugh, the game just, like, lagged a little bit. Okay, do 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 down the stairs to the mining outpost. We're gonna solve this mystery once and for all. The mines, there's an explosion. Luckily, no one was down there. Glad to hear it. Would it be all right if I were to go down there and take a look? See if any artifacts may have been uncovered? Well, it's awfully dangerous, but I guess if you are really careful, here, take this hard hat, steel toe boots, jacket, and overalls. They should keep you from getting too messy. Okay. Um, don't need you. Don't need you. Um, oh, I guess I don't need that. Probably don't need the barn key anymore. Okay. But now I'm just gonna put things that I was wearing in the chest. Put on my new clothes. Except, did I put away the thing that I was supposed to put on? Am I blind? Or I guess I just didn't. I I'm just okay. I'm gonna keep my shirt on then. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Uh, the reason why you don't need the minecarts or anything is with that explosion, it actually removes the barrier block. So then you can just walk down all of this. It's no biggie. So yeah. Now we go down here, and there's nothing in there. Hmm, arrow will lead the way. What does that mean? The reason why you don't even need that clue is because that. There's a sound cue that plays whenever you have it in the right spot. Oh, dang it. Ta-da! Dark, spooky tunnel. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Guys! It's the cornerstone, and it's not Luke Traden, you turd bucket, you little sneaky poo head. I'm really good at calling names. Who's there? It's me from the train. I've caught you red-handed. How did you find this place? 
Never mind that. We're stuck. I think a better question is why are you down here? And why have you been sneaking around the town? It's not what it looks like, man. You stole the cornerstone, didn't you? You got it all wrong. I didn't steal it. I was hired by the mayor to figure out who stole it. <gasps> what? That's funny, since the mayor had me trying to solve that little problem. I'm telling the truth. Honest, I'm a detective like you. How did... Mrs. Tomlinson told me. She to saw you were a detective and told me and the mayor. We decided since you were just staying until the train was fixed, that you would be less suspicious getting info from people so we could catch the culprit. It all seems very far-fetched. You don't have to believe me, but right now we need to find a way out of here. Once we do, we'll go to the mayor and get this all cleared up. Agreed? Fair enough. Okay, so it's not Mr. Detective Dude. So now we are presented with a whole bunch of blocks that say things on it. Spy tree. Plan. Knowledge. Bake. Smith. Escape. Chicken. New. What do you think we've been gathering all this stuff for? The blacksmith's anvil. It took me a while to figure this one out. But it's the shovel because he escaped from jail. Apparently. Apparently he escaped from jail. There was no clues that said that. But apparently you're supposed to just put that together. The chicken's plastic egg. The brand new grand opening. Spruton's axe. I don't know why that's spy tree, but maybe because tree because it's an axe and spy because Spruton was spying on Birchton. I think plan the old town plans. Knowledge. Knowledge is the key. Better stick a book in there. This actually has. I thought this had something to do with it since it says my key. You'd think that knowledge is my key so you put this in the knowledge spot but it's it's not i got that wrong and big big knee a cake big knee a cake dun da da dun well that's interesting hmm why don't you head down there and see where it leads i'll wait here and try to get the other door open yeah okay thanks for sending me down the dark scary shaft all by myself wow oh <gasps> It's you! Ha ha ha! Well, well, well. I'm standing back here for certain reasons. Mr. Trayden, what are you doing here and why are you green? Darn it, the makeup was supposed to hide my identity. As for why I'm here, that's none of your business. I think it is considering you locked me in here. Well, if you must know, I am here for the treasure which you so graciously led me to. I was just trying to find the cornerstone. Yes, well, that cornerstone was a key, a key to my great-great-great-grandfather's treasure. I am sure you know who I'm talking about. Birch did? So this was his big secret? He had treasure stashed away? Yes, stolen treasure to be exact. He was quite the thief. I might as well tell you, since you'll never get out of here, that his name was not really Birchton. It was Traden. Birchton was just an Elias. That is how you say that word, right? Elias? I think so. Who's to say I won't escape? Me. I don't want anyone else to find out about the treasure. Once I'm done with you, I'll take care of that guy in the other room and be out of town before anyone knows it, thanks to the train conductor. Ha ha ha! He's on an, in on this too, but the sister runs the inn and she's helping me. Is she in on this too? She's not. She would never hurt this town. As for her brother, a little gold goes a long way. Ha ha ha. Goodbye. Yeah, that's what you think. Pa ha ha. Surprise, I had a reason to craft a sword. <laughs> First time I played this through, I never crafted the sword. I just fought him with like the axe or like... Yeah, I think I fought him with the iron axe. Works just as good. Well. Hey, you okay down there? We caught the conductor. He told us everything about Trayden. Needless to say, Mrs. Tomlinson got him to talk pretty quickly. Her own brother. She was mad to say the least. I'm alright. I'm just glad this is all settled. Um. Where am I supposed to read? Well, what can I say? Thank you for all you have done for this town. You will be happy to know Traden and the Conductor are both behind bars. To be honest, that is the safest place for the Conductor. Mrs. Tomlinson is fuming. Also, Mr. Tom... 
Tom Thompson has decided to stay in town and be the sheriff. Oh no, Mr. Thompson, the detective. Good to hear, and it was nothing. Just doing my job. Well, still, here's a little token of our appreciation. As for the treasures you found, rest assured, we are attempting to locate the rightful owners. Thank you, sir. Now you best be off. Get packing your train leaves in about an hour. Thank you for playing. Feel free to explore the map. The end. Back on the train. <gasps> to the detective. There's a book. Can I read it? Okay. Dear detective, congratulations on solving the case of Spruton. Excuse me, it was called the case of the missing cornerstone. I have heard from the mayor of your skills and would like to extend an offer of a job as a rookie detective at the Solvit Detective Agency. We hope to hear back from you soon. In the meantime, enjoy your trip home. Loot! I'm a real detective now! So, that's the story. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will probably... Even though, to be honest, the, the first Solve It video didn't do super great, but I'll probably still keep posting these. Because I want to finish the series because I enjoy these maps, and who knows, maybe having these on my channel, will be, somebody will show up and, like, somebody new, people will find the channel, and maybe those people will enjoy the videos, but um, I'm sure whoever watched this all the way through the end, to the end, I'm sure you enjoyed this video if you did leave it a big old thumbs up and comment down below um whatever you would like to say i guess i don't have anything super specific specific for you to comment down below but um yeah just let me know if you like these videos and if i should keep going i think there's seven solve it detective maps so i might play all of them Anyway, at the very least, I am planning on playing Solve It Case 2, which I think is called the Queen's Helm. So be on the lookout for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye. You said the same thing I told you. My eyes are clear, there's no secret.